Some iPad 5 imagery surfaces, but a September launch looks tricky. Leaked Samsung Galaxy Gear specs include some odd storage options, and Google's Hugo Barra leaves for some better luck in the Orient. I'm Jaime Rivera, and tell me something, is it just me or when you hear the word Galaxy Gear, the last thing you think of is a watch? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official and unofficial news. On the official side, if you're interested on the Moto X on Verizon, it's now available online in black and white. And that's it. There is no customization options yet, at least for Verizon. But if you're interested in this phone in Europe, apparently we know that there is going to be some sort of a budget Moto X for Europe. And apparently it will have some replaceable backplates, which we wonder why never made it to the original phone in the US. Now let's talk about Nokia and their phablet project. Uh, apparently it's going to be called Bandit and well, Lumia 1520 is going to be the name and we finally get its first photograph being compared to what we think is a Lumia 720. And this thing is not only massive, but it's got this protector cover that looks like an iPad smart cover on one hand. And then on the other hand, if you look at Windows Phone, it doesn't really look like if it's real, but mm, I don't know. Let's see how that goes. Now let's talk about Samsung. First of all, the Galaxy Gear. We've got some leaked specifications on this smartwatch. Links down below the list is kind of big, but probably the most interesting part is that we get six and eight gigabyte storage options. I've never heard of six gigabytes before, but first of all, why would we want so much storage on a watch? Next to wonder, I wonder what they're planning with this thing. But on the other hand, we've got some prices for the Galaxy NX, you know, that sort of DSLR camera that runs Android and prepare those $1,700 if you want that thing with a lens. Um, anyways. Now let's talk about the iPad. We get another leaked body of the iPad 5 that looks just like an iPad mini, only bigger. But, well, trusted sources say that apparently this tablet will not be ready for a launch on September 10th. Apparently we will be getting another event for the iPad, which is pretty much what happens almost every year anyway. So stay tuned for that. Let's see what we do get on September 10th. We haven't even gotten invitations for that thing. And finally, for some interesting news of the day, we all remember Hugo Barra, which was pretty much available in every keynote when any Nexus product was launched. He was Google's VP of product management for Android, and he just confirmed that he's leaving the company for Xiaomi, which is an OEM in China, which is kind of interesting. I mean, that was a really good job at Google, and it's kind of interesting to see what he's planning to do and what will happen to the Nexus lineup for Google's Android project in the future. So that leads you to the question of the day. Do you think that Hugo Barra's departure will influence in any way what happens with the Nexus product lineup or Android in the future. In my particular case, honestly, well, Android is going through a lot of changes. A lot of these are interesting, like for example, what Sundar's doing with the Chromecast and it's mixed with Android and everything, but leave us a comment down below. I mean, I'm not really sure what to make of it yet. Of course, friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on fuckingnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.